Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fashion file unboxing. There are actually three goodies in this box. And yeah, this is a true unboxing. I just cut open the box and I want to get in here with you guys. I apologize for the very uh, natural look here. My nails are not done. I've got no jewelry on. I'm just kind of relaxing at the moment and this is my off day in between polishes. So let's just get in here. This is probably the receipt so I won't bother with that. But if you follow me on Instagram, I had posted not long ago uh, on my stories that I tried on a few patent leather Chanel bags and everything in here is going to be patent leather. So if you are interested in learning about Chanel patent leather, I gathered a good deal of information and got lots of tips and interesting uh, tidbits from other Chanel patent leather handbag owners. So I wanna share that. I did a lot of research because I wasn't quite sure how I felt about patent leather. I love the fun, shiny look of it. I like the feel of it. It feels durable, but I also know that uh, that it is very hard to repair if it gets damaged. So I did put a post on my Instagram stories asking for advice. And I actually went to Chanel with my friend Elma and I actually purchased the medium size, so the 225 size Chanel reissue right? That's the 2.55 original style. The reissue is so black, which is gorgeous. It's the all black, black on black, quilted, uh, black patent leather version. And I was so smitten with it, but I was quite unsure when I got home because the size, I love the length of the chain. If you own the reissue, you know that the chain length is quite perfect for crossbody, but I wasn't quite sure about the bag itself and the size, and I just had some hesitation. So I wound up within 24 hours returning it, and then I started thinking maybe I should get a different patent leather. Anyway, so let me get in here. This one, oh my gosh, the color is popping out. So this one made me think of my daughter because she has been wanting something from Chanel patent leather for a long time, and I'm like, you're a kid, you don't need anything, but look how pretty that is. So this is obviously pre-loved. I think it was in excellent condition. Let's see, does it look brand new? The hardware looks brand new. So this is the small size O case, and it's the quilted, really bright, hot pink quilted uh, pouch with the gold hardware. Let's see the zipper, really smooth. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's quite a nice size. Actually, I know for a fact that my phone fits in here. So if you ever were looking for like a little pouch clutch kind of thing, you could put your phone and your cards. There are card slots here. And this one is made in Italy. And then here is another open slot. So you can put some other flat items there. And then let's get the authenticity card out. This is a 30 series, so it is quite new. Oh goodness, okay. So let's see, here's the back pocket. Oh, how cute. The back pocket is, it feels like, is it lamb or a calf? I don't know, it's actually really soft. I wouldn't be surprised if it was lambskin but it might be calf. There are some scratches here, so maybe it is lambskin because lambskin is more prone to uh, showing scratches, right? But it looks pretty much brand new. I will share the prices on all of these at the end when I pull out the receipt, but this really should have been listed in new condition, I feel like because it came with everything, the box, the dust bag, the original um, paperwork, the tags. Yeah, it has all the tags. So it says here that the retail price was $850. Can you see that, is that too close? $850, and I'm pretty sure I did not pay that. Okay, now I'm curious, so let me get to the receipt before I even open the other things. I know this is a little bit disorganized. This is what happens when you have a true unboxing. It's not rehearsed or planned in any way. Uh, wow, so I got a deal on this. So this patent pouch was retail 850 and I paid 650 
and it's an absolutely mint like new condition so I saved two hundred dollars before taxes oh my gosh how cute so yeah I think that my daughter will love this I know she's young she's turning 11 so I'm not going to be spoiling her with these kinds of things at this age but I will definitely save it for her you know I'm already saving a couple of key pieces for her and she can play around with it at home um, and then when she's a little older how cute like can you imagine as a teenager you know in a few years how fun is this and this has the CC hardware with that little bubble I don't know what it's called um, that has Chanel CC on it so that has an added layer of detail but how fun okay so let me put this off to the side and then let me get into this little one here and yes I was definitely dreaming of patent leather because this too so here's the fashion file dust bag and then oh good it comes with the original dust bag oops whoa wait isn't this supposed to be on here Oh, I guess I can't put this on here because of what kind of item it is so let me show you and you'll understand yes look at this oh my gosh it's so pretty so this is the so black right as I was mentioning the reissue I tried on and purchased and returned this is the so black chevron I don't have anything in the Chanel chevron Oh my gosh my nails look so naked anyway uh, so the hardware is black as well that's what makes it so black and it's got kind of like this it is the black patent leather chevron but underneath it it looks like it's kind of got like a crushed effect which is really cool I love that added detail look at the back so what I was thinking was maybe I get this and kind of test it out for a while because uh, one Chanel card holder that I have is vintage from my husband. It's quite it's getting quite old I should probably retire it although it's in great shape and then I have another Chanel card holder that I uh, won from a giveaway from LV lover CC's channel a while back. It's red camellia flower You've probably seen it if you've been here before But this is like the one Chanel card holder that I chose for myself right um, meaning like I I don't know it wasn't a gift it wasn't a giveaway so it's got the two slots in the back here and then the main compartment it's not even stretched out or anything so it says here I don't know if you can see but it says made in Italy and then Chanel on the other side and then the main compartment I like the feel of this I love how playful patent leather is so one of the things to watch out for patent leather is that if you were to have a lighter colored patent leather and you placed it down on a newspaper or a magazine that print could actually get imprinted onto the patent leather and unfortunately there's really not anything you can do about that even if you were to send this out for like a professional leather repair or cleaning there's not much and I know this for a fact because I did speak with Jerry from the leather surgeons a while back with regards to a different bag and he was educating me on all the different requests that he get he gets and patent leather is really hard if not impossible to repair so light color patent would be a bit more risky I feel like black is less risky there's also the risk of getting this to be very sticky meaning um, these where the patent touches other patent it can get really really sticky and that could be a problem and it can cause wear and tear um, I think that's mostly for moisture and I live in New York City there isn't a whole lot of moisture or humidity I should say and in my closets I make it a habit to put baking soda like on the top and bottoms of my closet just to absorb the moisture so I haven't had any issues with that and so I would just keep up with the baking soda um, and then um, over time like well over time maybe 25 years you know well into vintage years the patent leather can start to crack but frankly that can happen with leather that can happen with canvas so I wouldn't say that that makes patent leather any more prone to wear and tear just because of that fact but I was really pleased to get a bunch of DMs on my Instagram stories with people telling me oh here's the series number it's a 25 series with a lot of people telling me that they own patent leather bags from Chanel and that they have held up really well mostly most most people like I think only one person said that 
they had hesitations and wound up selling their bag. But a lot of the people that wrote to me said that they love the durability, that it's their everyday bag, that it's their Disney bag, one person said. Another person said it's um, their bad weather day bag. It's really good for like rain and snow because you can just wipe off the water droplets versus maybe like a more delicate lambskin, for example, might just sort of soak up the water and it would damage the leather. So overall, I will say that I feel like patent leather is not nearly as fragile as some people worry about. Just like with lambskin, I was very concerned about lambskin originally before purchasing my lambskin bags. And now I always say lambskin is not nearly as fragile as some people make out to be. So let's get in here. And I don't know if you'll be able to guess based on the size of the box of this one. And what I had mentioned in the earlier part of the video, that I tried one and I bought one and all of that, but oh my gosh, okay. So I got really lucky actually. I saw the 225 size and the mini size both, and I wound up buying the 225 size, and then I regretted it and returned it the next day as I mentioned. And then I saw the mini size, um, but I left it there because I was unsure and when I got home I was like what are the chances that they would have this available on fashion file let me see and this was available so this is the um, oh my gosh it's so cute this is the smaller size reissue so black is this technically the 224 size or is it the mini I don't even know anyway so it's so pretty. Um, this was listed in excellent condition, made in France. That's so pretty, look at it, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me get the authenticity card, show you the series number. So this is a 29 series, fairly recent. And there's a little bit of creasing here from the flap folding, but Okay, a little bit of scratches here. So in terms of pricing, this was pretty much close to retail. Maybe it was like a tiny bit below retail, but it was negligible. I think I saved like, I don't know, $75 or $100. Um, this is the, you can't tell right now because it's really cloudy and there's no sunlight coming through, but this is actually the rainbow. Can you see that? It's the rainbow like the iridescent hardware. So it has this sort of unicorn effect, mermaidy effect. It's so pretty. Yes, and remember I let go of my rainbow wallet on chain, the really colorful, pretty one. I sold that to one of my subbies, so I don't have anything in the reissue style and certainly don't have any patent leather. Well, now I've got three things in the patent leather. So let's take a close look here. I really like the length of this one. Um, I kind of feel a little bit like I'm very much indulging, meaning I got the minis recently, right? The 21P Brown, or better known as the Caramel, I've been calling her Chai Latte. Um, I have that one, and then I also got the gold, 21P Gold Square Mini. So I have two minis now, so I kind of feel like, do I really need this? And I have so many black bags, but it is so stunning, and the stickers are still intact. The stitch, the stitching looks perfect. It looks symmetrical to me. Uh, I, I don't know. I, it's really, really cute. It's really cute. I just want to make sure that this is something that I will really use and wear. Um, because I am so happy with my current collection and because I have other minis and other black bags, I don't want to fall into the trap of having beautiful bags that I just don't have the time to actually rotate and use. I already have so, so in my mind, I feel like I have, I have so much, maybe in other people's minds, I, I don't have that much, but I do feel very abundant when I look at my handbag collection. So let's look at these two together. Oh my gosh. So the sensible side of me says, just keep this one and experiment with the patent leather for a little while so that you're sure you're comfortable with the wear and tear. Or, you know, keep both of them, these two, right? One, This one for my daughter, she's gonna love this so much. Oh my gosh, this is so her. Um, and then use this for my purposes and maybe hold off on this, but I know how, this is where the scarcity mindset comes in. It's not useful, it's really not helping at all. I just know that it's hard to find the so blacks and it's hard to find just this one, like it's, it's hard to find. So 
Luckily, Fashion File has a generous return policy, so I can sleep on it. I could think about it. Um, but I really think it's so cute. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards keeping it, guys. I intended, I ordered it with the intention of keeping it. Oh, the other thing that someone said to me was, it's really important how you store the chains because apparently if the chains kind of rest onto the quilts or the patent leather, it will get dented and permanently so. Um, the person who shared that with me had stated that, I think it was, was it her jumbo, patent leather jumbo? Uh, in any way, any case, she mentioned that the chains will dent the patent leather much faster than le like just other leather bags, caviar or lambskin. So I have not been that mindful with my other Chanel bags. Sometimes I just drape my chain, um, not like permanently store it that way, but I might just take off the bag after use and then drape it for a, like a full day. So with this one, I would have to be more careful and not do that and just be mindful not to have the chain resting on the patent leather for too long but you see that shine i always wanted a patent leather bag i don't know if you guys know that about me i would always discourage myself and others if people ask me what do you think about patent leather i'd be like mm. especially if it's your first chanel i would be like oh, go for the caviar uh, or the lambskin if you're not afraid of it and it was really because i was afraid about the lack of ability to really repair it but in one of my older videos, I shared my very, very first designer uh, or, yeah, I guess designer handbag. Or maybe it was in the video with my daughter when I showed her bags. Um, my first coach bag that my mom got for me or I got, I can't remember, was when I was in eighth grade. So I was about 13 years old. And my daughter has it now because my mom saved it because she saves everything. She's very much unlike me. She's very sentimental. She saves everything. And she gave it to my daughter to have. I don't have it in front of me, but it is actually patent leather. It's like this gold shimmery patent leather little tiny cute bag. So I've always loved patent leather. I don't, I'm not surprised that my daughter loves patent leather too. She's been talking about patent leather. And so anyway, yeah, I'm talking a lot. This is a very rambly video. Um, but tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments. This one for sure is a keeper. I definitely don't need another card holder um, and I was not intending to get another card holder but I do want to test this out and kind of like not baby it just use it and throw it around and see how it goes and then this will also allow me to unofficially retire my vintage one that I love so much I don't want it to like fall apart on me so I can retire that one and start using this and this one yes I will save it looks so perfect so cute so girly so cute yeah um so i will hang on to this one for sure for my daughter and then this one i'm definitely leaning towards keeping but i will sleep on it and yeah let me know let me know what you think oh my gosh okay and let me know if you have any experience with patent leather and uh, chanel patent leather in particular and if you love it or you regret it, if you've had any experiences, good or bad, please share with us. There are probably a lot of other people who are watching who are curious and want to do their own research. Um, so if you could share, that would be wonderful. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I've made a mess here. I need to clean up. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.